Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting bringing to episodes 9 and 10 of Sounds of Life. So let's go ahead and get started at episode 9 and 3, 2, 1, go. I wonder, especially like her mom. Maybe if, if this is something that I'm kind of expecting, not really in season one, but more of season two. Maybe by the end of it, possibly her mom might accept her again. It's the biggest thing that I want for her, but who knows? <laughs> Wrong person. This girl is like, I have a man, this is so wrong. You got a problem with that? I mean, you're a boy. Okay. Also, isn't this supposed to be the episode where Kredita is supposed to be seeing his former classmates and then he feels some type of way? Yeah, Hime is literally the Zuka Club in a nutshell from Oran. I thought you wouldn't have been able to see them. Yeah. But Jesus, how many kids do they have in their club? God, she's so tense and nervous. Mm. 
hang out with the girls I hang with are able to do them. Honestly, that just tells you how far this school is to them. I mean, we all know <laughs> so he is like OP, but mm. yeah. See, like I said. Her in a nutshell is freaking Zuka Club. She's trying to do everything in her power to bring Hosuki into their school. I mean, that was an amazing performance. That shit was beautiful. I really don't like the way he said that like that. Oh, Jesus. Well, maybe it was really good. Oh, Jesus. Hold on. Sexual chemistry. Some bold words to say. But I'm glad that they're accepting it, and that's really good about them. No. Because with Hosuki's help, they can be a better club. No! <laughs> He's really seeming like an asshole type of character now. Just a friend. Oh, 
Of course he is, but he just doesn't want to show anything. But honestly, Chica is right. You have to be more confident, not only about yourself, but about things that you're passionate about. Not everybody's going to agree with you on what you do, but still, if it's something you enjoy and you love, Please tell me this is not going to be a fight. This is going to be a two-parter episode because, oof. Of course he is. Then how can you get the nationals? He's right about that. I mean, of course you wouldn't care. You're a teacher, and not all teachers sometimes care about their students. Like, honestly, I really want to see Kurita, like, lash out, but I get the fact that he can't because it's just that mm, something is not letting him be confident and it's something that he just really needs. I mean, what can you do? And then come back together. You would think that right after they've had their argument on such that they would come. I apologize, but it's gonna it's probably even gonna take until the end of this episode going into the next episode. Yeah, upper classes have a lot more things to worry about. And so, with the fact is that Kareza doesn't really confine into everyone else, he bottles everything up, and he's gonna blow up and explode, and I don't think he'll be able to latch anyone, and this is why he doesn't really have the biggest confidence that he's supposed to have. Oh, he knows here. Exactly. If you can find everyone and talk it out, you can grow and be a better person who is confident in himself and things that you do. Yes, you can. 
Rely on people. Don't always do it by yourself. Here we go. First step. First step. Oh my God. What exactly did you say to him? Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Please tell me he ain't go back to that school. <laughs> so what? Talk to him. Apologize, both of you.
so what yes <laughs> Oh, come on, the lies you tell. Yeah, and plus it puts the glove on ease and the dynamic. The people get frustrated with others. If you guys work together and continuously practice, you can make it. Mm-hmm. But... You gonna make a new one? the fact that they did that together binds them so much more forever. Oh my god, that was just so good. I mean, they needed that. I needed that after like, the emotion of this episode, but I'm glad. And it's a first step to nationals. It's something that, you know, anyone in music, sports, anything, it's a dream. But then when you get there, and they're going to get there, whether it, it will, it's not going to be by the end of season one, because I think we have like two more, two or three more episodes before I'm done with season one, but it's going to happen in season two, just like everyone in the <laughs> freaking Sound Euphorium, um, Love Life Sunshine, because I'm kind of getting sold lives by from Love Life Sunshine with this, but I'm glad, I'm glad. Kanata, he's making that first step to being a confident man, not a boy. A man. And he's going to better himself. And I love it. It's going to be so good. I'm so excited to see the challenges that they'll face in these next episodes. It's just, there's going to be some days where they're going to want to give up. Someone's going to cry. I'm not even going to cry. But they're going to get through it. It's gonna be worth it no matter what. And I'm just happy. It just feels like it's the last episode of the way I'm talking. Okay, I wanna talk about the teacher real quick. The teacher is really, really an ass. You look up ass in the dictionary and he is up there. He... He seems like a teacher that I've I've never had a teacher like this, but I have seen teachers like this in the past, especially with my friends and how, um, I, no, in a way I've kind of had some teachers like this, but they never really weren't like that to me. It was more towards other students where sometimes in the end, if the kid doesn't really care about their grades or her grades, why should the teacher care? And then you have a really angry parent coming up to the school, having a conversation not only with your, your child, um, 
the teacher, possibly the school administrator, the principal, and ever. I don't think it's ever really led to that. I don't know because, like, if I could ask any of my former classmates from my high school or whatever, you never really truly know. But sometimes when there is a student who is very troubled, eventually a he or she comes in. But, I mean, the teacher, he is an ass. Like, it's just there's times where I feel like he does care about these kids, which essentially from the end of this episode, it went... And then there are times from the first half of this episode where he really just didn't give a shit about these kids. But slowly but surely, he is changing his, you know, his appearance and the way he's being developed. But honestly, it could all go to shit with him. But I think he's, he's like, he, he may change himself for the better. That's the biggest thing I want to know. But yeah, I just hope that everything that they're going to do from episode 10 to the finale in season two is all worth it that I could possibly in a couple like a month or two from now maybe when I finish the show um specifically look back on episode nine of this season and just be like damn or even this episode or the series overall and look back and be like damn I was proud of these kids like look how far they came from 1 to 24 and just that the fact they can inspire someone anyone up around any freaking age but yeah go ahead and pause the video and i'll see you guys in one second for episode 10 okay episode 10 and three two one go Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> They're not only rivals, they are freaking lovers. That sexual chemistry, though, it is there. We all know it's there, but we're just waiting until, boom. Y'all probably know because the show is over. I just don't know anything. It's there. You can literally see it. I have a pin drop between them. They, they literally cannot deny that they have sexual chemistry. They have chemistry. It's there. It's so freaking obvious. And they're gonna fall in love, if not already, in love with each other. And by the final episode, or somewhat around season two, they're gonna make out. And I'm just gonna be like, it's everything I wanted. I'm so freaking happy. Mm Now I'm wondering who these other four characters are going to be. Mm -hmm. 
It keeps the beat. I would be too, but maybe. Oh, those! For Kota. I mean, at least he's trying. A for effort, you know? That is true. I mean, he is an ass. And if you don't want to be a part of that, then go. Truly, just to see how far you've come. At least you guys are acknowledging them. Positive, any 
from this. Oh my god. Okay, I love him. And so we tried to <laughs> He was able to just get it like that. Mm, it's freezing. I mean, he has a lot of potential, but he just needs practice. It's a precious little baby.
Il est au boyeux! I just feel like I've got to leave. It's just everyone will be extremely upset. He just needs. Ugh. He's going out of the middle of the night by himself. He's gonna get hurt. So he had to go home. Of course, anyone would be. It's not your fault. One of them's got to be a hero, you know? He could be at the train station, though. with you. That's why you were practicing. Oh my god, Golda.
it's okay. This is that you're down right now. You're going to go up. Oh, it's going to get better. <laughs> no escort did you do? <laughs> Oh my god, I love you so much. Maybe you guys should have a day to just rest and get some sleep. Just chill. That was a beat. Well, I'm already loving the teacher now. Thank you. It only took one episode to change my mind about the teacher. This is a really good episode for Kota. <laughs> Not Kota. <laughs> Kota. I mean, he's such an impressive, like, oh, precious little adorable cinnamon roll that you want to freaking protect. Like, everyone you want to protect. But, like, the fact is, I honestly thought he went home. I was like, oh, my God. Like, he's that upset. I mean, I would be, too. But the fact that he was out in the middle of the night by himself, practicing. Precious, baby. Protect him. And he's going to get better. It's just a step up and practicing and making sure that you have it right and knowing when you're right and knowing when you're wrong. Yes, I get the fact that both Hosaki and Hiro were a little too hard on him and that pressure that he has and how everybody else is getting it a lot more faster than he is. And it truly, really happens to everybody. Like, no matter what skill or age or your average thing is, because we all have problems, there are going to be things that people are going to be immediately be able to pick up and other people, <laughs> hi, puppy. It's going to take a little more time. And that's not saying that he's a bad character. It's just a really good learning experience for him. And I'm glad that there's a character like that. Because you don't immediately want everybody in this show to be a Hosaki. To be perfect. And to know this is right. This is wrong. Everybody has a unique skill. And the fact is that, yes, <laughs> Kota is not the best. But he is trying. I love that about him. The teacher, like I said, he has redeeming qualities now. I'm glad that he's really more um, presentable in the kids. He wants to really be with these kids and take care of them and nurture them and be better than he was at the beginning of the anime. So I like that. It's redeeming qualities that, you know, you just really enjoy. But it makes me wonder, like, with the, what we just saw and not what the heck is going on and then 
honestly really whatever else could really happen with the last three episodes that I have but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and say this now I am not watching the last three episodes together I'm gonna watch 11 and 12 together and then I'll watch 13 and 14 together and such so that yeah so you know that now but other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes 9 and 10 of Sounds of Life. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons and next Tuesday for everybody else for episodes 11 and 12. Bye, guys.